forecast the weather on Mars when people get up there. Why is everyone telling me that? <laughs> you, Janelle, Neil, everyone else is going to keep telling me that. Our viewers it's, are going to start telling me that. It's the future. You got to embrace change. <laughs> it is. Well, let's stay in our atmosphere for right now, okay? Taking a look here at your peak wind speeds on this Saturday. You can see it was actually pretty breezy, and I know Santa Barbara's data isn't showing up right now, but we were close to about 25 to 30 miles per hour there today, and you can see not too far behind that for areas like Paso Robles, San Luis Obispo. So although we don't have that wind advisory in effect, it's still pretty breezy. And temperatures today in some areas slightly below average. Average. And we were seeing a lot of 60s across those coastal valleys and 70s across our inland valley communities. So let's take a look here at your high resolution forecast, talking about these wind gusts as we head into tonight. So they're actually trending down, staying below that advisory level. And then as we look ahead to your Sunday, after we get through the morning, we'll start to see things pick up somewhat. I would say more of a concern will be as we head into Sunday afternoon and then looking ahead to even Monday too. So we can see right now some of those wind speeds, particularly right around Lompoc and then towards the coast, closer to about 25 to 30 miles per hour. Once again, just staying below that advisory level. We had a little bit of instability due to a low pressure system that has now since shifted over the Great Basin, but it brought a chance of thunderstorms actually to the central coast. We definitely had that cloud cover to start out this morning. We saw those increasing clouds for your Friday as well. But we are looking ahead to uh, tonight into tomorrow morning, starting to see the redevelopment of that marine layer out along the coast, similar to what we had today. And then it gradually mixes out. Wouldn't be surprised, though, if you are along the coast on Sunday afternoon. We should have some stubborn clouds that take a little while longer to clear. And then you can see by Sunday night, we'll get the return of some of that cloud cover uh, for areas across our coastal valleys, too. Let's take a look at the next three days. So for Sunday, I would say those temperatures are actually pretty close to those seasonal norms for the coastline. Coastal valleys just below that. Same thing for the interiors. And then as we go to Monday, we start to heat up out along the coast. Same thing for your coastal valleys. Some of your inland valley communities will be right around those upper 80s. It's not ruled out that we could actually be reaching the low 90s for some of those interiors as well. For Tuesday, we start to trend down slightly back to the upper 60s for the coast, mid 70s for those coastal valleys and closer to those seasonal averages for the inland valleys. And out along the coast, we still have that beach hazard statement in effect through 11 a.m. Just as a reminder, we'll have those dangerous rip currents with elevated surf of, of about six to nine feet. And here's a look at those current wave heights right now. Let's take a look at those daytime highs, those overnight lows. You can see as we look ahead to tomorrow, back to the upper 70s out over Paso Robles. Temperatures for the Santanez Valley still right around those low to mid 70s. So if you're going to be out and about, especially if you're towards the coast, might want to grab that jacket for some areas like Guadalupe, Los Osos, but will actually be closer to about those upper 60s for portions of your five cities. And along the North Coast, daytime highs there ranging from the upper 50s to about the mid 